G'day football fans and welcome to FIFA 23. It's finally here. We are ready to get absolutely cracking into it. Today's video, I'm just going to go through. We're going to have a look at uh, how the game looks, basically. We're going to start a career mode. It's not going to be a long-term one. It's not going to be one I'll continue. But we'll start one just to see how it looks, see any uh, differences and, and new features or anything like that. Um, and then we'll pop into a game with uh, with whatever team we choose. Before we get into it, just make sure to leave us a like down below. Subscribe if you're new around here if you want to see a whole bunch more of FIFA content. We'll have a career mode starting later this week. We'll also have plenty of Football Manager content coming when Football Manager 23 comes out. Anyway, let's uh, let's get cracking. Let's get into it. Already, I don't like that it's making me do some tutorial, but as an Aussie, I have to pick. Um, I have to pick Sam Kerr. I have to. Them's the rules. Jeez, it looks gorgeous, doesn't it? I mean, it's all well and good to look gorgeous as long as the game plays normal. We'll see, we'll see. So, same commentators, same old, same old. It's good to see the WSL in the Premier League, or in the Premier League, in FIFA, rather. Absolutely gorgeous. Firstly, Manchester City, lovely, lovely. Let's get cracking, get into it. All right, let's get it going. I'm already, I'm not enjoying the thing being at the top of the screen, or the... You know, the, the power bar being up above the player's head. There's an outside of the foot shot. Not fantastic. How, all right, I'm already I'm changing that because I'm just sick of it already. All right, I don't know if that did it, but I changed something. Nope, it hasn't changed it at all. So that's good. I like the idea of, you know, making people get used to women being in the game. Like, it makes sense. Oh, Sam Kerr. She's going to back heel it to this person. Who's Oh, back heel for our first goal. <laughs> I don't know who it is because it doesn't say their name for some reason. What's the name? Harder. I mean, Sam Kerr made it very easy on Harder here. Through on goal, little back heel, another back heel, all right. We get the point, we're gonna skip through that. Opening screen looks pretty garbage, um, so that's good. Um, it's trying to, oh, my team on Ultimate Team is called Widge Duck House. Uh, just look out for us if you're ever playing us. Let's have a look at it. There's already a team of the week out, even though the game hasn't really released yet. I've only got my 10 hours free play or whatever the heck it's called. Alrighty, I already like did my packs and stuff. Um, <laughs> my team, not brilliant, but I'll just, I'll swap them around. I'll just, go away, go away. I'll just <laughs> swap in the players that we got from packs and show you a better team, I suppose. All right, looking at uh, overalls and absolutely nothing else. This is the best team that we got from our, because we pre-ordered, we got some three packs. It, look, it is what it is really, isn't it? It's, I'm not ever going to play this. I'm, this. That's not what this is about. It is what it is, really. It's very weird to see Mesut Ozil as low as 78, but I mean, it, I guess it makes sense, right? He's, he's turned to ass, really. Anyway, moving on. Next, we will have a look at starting a career mode. Alrighty, we will, of course we're going to play as a real manager. Why would we not? Alrighty, I love that they've added this feature. Probably needs some work um, already. But we are, of course, going to go with Pep Guardiola. But we can change his outfit, which is just fantastic. Um, we can, let's put, uh, I do like Pep in his grey t-shirt. But for the sake of the video, we are going to put him in just an open white. Uh, shirt, put him in a nice pink suit jacket, uh, maroon pants, can't tell his socks so that doesn't matter, who cares, and we'll put him in uh, uh, some tan runners, jeez that's a handsome man. Right moving through, of course we want to be City with him, why would we want to, oh so you can, okay so I could pick Guardiola and take him to West Ham if I wanted to, I don't, could also take Guardiola and create a club, that's awesome, that's Super good features. I appreciate it. Alrighty, looking at the... Why has it got me on three halves? Three minute halves. Alright, last year I played with six minutes, so I'm just going to go with six again. We're going to go with Sterling because we're playing in England. We don't need a takeover. I'll get rid of that. Just have it on world class for now. When I do an actual career mode, we'll change that. But let's get through. Let's get through to it, see how it looks. Alright, so we've got the same old friendly cups and you can see that Atalanta are still Bergamo Calcio and Roma are still Roma FC. It seems like the money's gone down. I swear you used to get more money from them. All right, it's got like a up the top left. You see it's got a um, like progress bar for how well you're doing. That's interesting. Training day. I'm just, I'm just gonna get through those really. I don't really care. Um, how do I get to my inbox? Because it says I got six there. It used to be the Y button. Oh, why now skips training? All right, so we've already 
accidentally skipped training. All right, it's the right thumbstick, everyone. Right thumbstick. Now we know. Youth Academy, how do we look? Oh, shut up. How do we look? Nothing to write home about here. Obafemi Johnson, great name, fantastic name, terrible player. Lucas Peterson, horrid. He looks like Sergio Gomez. Uh, Harry Edwards, also rubbish. Shouldn't be a defender. Maybe if he was a midfielder, he'd be a little bit better, but he's not crazy. And then this chap, Marcelo Palacios, is also awful. Lovely. Player chat. Um, oh, future's exciting, okay? What do you reckon? He's probably keen, I suppose. Um, looking at... Look, this all seems to be the same stuff, doesn't it? Except I like that Youth Academy is now here. Ooh, what's plan? Ooh. Oh, all right. Well, I thought that was going to be something more interesting than that. Anyway, <laughs> um, Squad Hub is the same old thing, I'm assuming. Let's have a look at the city overall. I haven't looked at any overalls yet, really. Edison, 89. <laughs> um, Scott Carson being here is just fantastic. Oh, wow. He looks handsome, doesn't he? Wow, they've done a good job on Ortega. My goodness. Some of these look fantastic. They've even got Ake's new hair. Wow, well done. This guy looks fantastic. John Stones, why is John Stones three overall less than Laporte? Just doesn't sit right with me. Walker, decent. Rodri looks fantastic. Calvin Phillips, 81. Was he better than 81 last time? Well, oh, they've got his hair well done this time. Who else? Uh, some lone players we don't care about. Ilkai, got his longer hair, lovely. Kevin, beautiful. 91 overall, fantastic. Bernardo being 88 is weird when, like, Ilkai has been a more important player the last, like, 18 months. It is what it is, anyway. Um, Grealish, see how is Jack Grealish one overall less than Ilkay Gundogan? And one overall better than John Stones? Bizarre. I, I'm glad they've got his hair done this time though, that's good. Like Phil Foden the same overall as Ilkay? Bit weird because he's 20, he's like he's 22, it'll grow stupidly. Um, what's Alvarez's pace? I want to see his pace because I saw his, I did see his FIFA card, like his, um, ultimate team card, his pace was 76 or something. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. They have, have not watched a game of his. And the big man, Erling Haaland. Man, what an absolute mountain. What a player. What a man. He's only 21, dude. Bloody hell. What a man. <laughs> anyway, let's go to... Let's have a look at the uh, team management. See if there's any differences in the... Oh, bugger off. Go away. See if there's any differences in... How you do your team doesn't look like it. Looks like this is the same old, same old stuff. It's got the same game plans. Same formations, tactics, looks. Yep. Yep, it's the same. Um, all right, let's go. We're going to do pressure on heavy touch. We're going to go... We're going to defend narrow because so, we want them to go wide so that we have to head it. And then we're going to defend with a high line so that we can try and win the ball high up. Uh, build up slow but we want people to make forward runs so they get beyond us we're going to be wide as hell with the ball so we can cross it into erling sure yeah yeah looks good looks good rolls just to burn it for everything who knows whatever let's i'll figure that out more later on what's the customize tab i can edit my manager i can edit okay i can change his outfit that's good does that mean I could change these if it was someone I'd created? Maybe? Edit players, settings. Yeah, right. Same old. Same old, same old. Browse jobs is here, which is weird. There are no jobs. That's good. Don't need one. Other leagues is there. My career. Okay, good. So it doesn't have... These are what, some of the things that Football Manager is absolutely fantastic at is having people's history. Like having my manager be Pep Guardiola and it says he's man managed one club. <laughs> he's never won a title. It's, you know... Yeah. Mm. Look, they're getting there. They're getting there. It's a great new feature. They're getting there. You know. All right. Scout report. Bugger off. This is where we look at the players that our people have brought in. Scouts. These are our scouts. This looks the same. This looks the same. All right. And same thing. You just press the right stick to filter through them. Yeah, righto. All right. A lot of it's the same so far. Um, advanced customization. Oh, yep. This is the same as last year. I'm going to bypass training. I don't care enough. Do we need anything really? I mean, if anything, like we've got a backup left back, but we don't really have a backup right back. We've got enough center backs. We've got another holding mid. Don't really have another midfielder, do we? I mean, I suppose the other midfielders are up here. So if we... Oh, sorry to do this to you, LK, but <laughs> we go like that, I guess. And then we need one midfielder because we... To, our backup midfielders would be Phillips and Gundogan. Our backup left winger is Grealish. Backup strikers Alvarez. We need a right winger, another midfielder, because we're one short. 
Centre backs we're fine. Right back we're not fine. Centre backs we've got too many of them, if anything. So maybe can one of our centre backs become a <laughs> defensive mid? Do you reckon uh, John Stones could be a defensive mid? Yeah, why not? <laughs> why not? We're gonna just get a backup right side of midfield of of the field really. So backup right back, backup right wing, and that'll do us. And John Stones can play in midfield. I do like that it has this on the right hand side of your screen here. It'll like show you what the player looks like. I wonder if it does that if we search players. So if we go search, bugger off. This needs to go away. I need to just be able to say no more tutorials. Get out. Um, a right winger. We're gonna get. We're gonna look at Michael Elise. Last year he looked like absolute garbage. How does he look this year? Doesn't tell us. Uh, we're gonna scout and shortlist him because he might be our backup Mares. And our other <laughs> wide back, we're gonna get Reese James because I I want him to replace Kyle Walker, and then we'll get someone else once Kyle Walker gets too old and buggers off or whatever. Let's have a look at. All right, Michael Elise, you can see on the right hand side here, looks the same. Reese James looks the same. Michael Elise, don't want him anymore. I want someone who looks normal. Who's another right winger we might want? What about uh, Diaby from uh, from Leverkusen? Transfer hub. Diaby, yes. These fellows both look like themselves. Absolutely beautiful. Reese James, they reckon about 70 million. All right, no, no I'm not gonna pay the release clause because that's ridiculous. Let's have a look. Anything different here? That looks horribly textured. Pep, it's sexy. What a beautiful man. Here's Graham. Loving, loving the hairdo. Anything different? Mm, not really. I think it's like the same room and everything. Uh, ooh, there's a tension in the top right. What does that mean? Uh, we're gonna offer 60 million. Sure. Zixi, what do you reckon? They want John Stones. Like, no. Don't wanna give you John Stones. Let's just go straight back. Let's go one. What about 60 million? You should've just said yes the first time, Graham. Bugger off. And same thing with Musa Diaby, we are gonna offer whoop, another 60 million. Pink in it, this pink jacket looks fantastic. They want Mares and 16 million. That's the same face, like generic face that's been in there for like six years. Um, we're gonna just offer them 62 and remove Mares. There you go, pal. How's that? Beautiful, there we go. So the way you negotiate is by throwing money at things. That's good, we're gonna skip this. Anything different? Maybe this office looks a little bit different. No, I, that's not true. I think it's the same one. I think it's the same one. All right, we're gonna offer him four years. Yep, he's cool with that. No release clause is my ideal. And we're gonna give him a 130 a week. Ah, uh, see how he likes that. Yes, he's into it. So we've got Reese J. Ooh. Ooh, this is new. Don't know what's happening here, but all right. Even though we just met, uh, I'll see you later, pal. This is different and dumb, and I don't like it. Um, is this his medical? There he is, Reese James in a city shirt. That's what we want to see. Absolutely beautiful, stunning. New cutscenes, love it. We got oh, there's ratings for the. Price. It was a great price for Reese James. Play overall 84, we already knew that. And good squad player. I don't know what that means. I don't know why it's comparing him with these two players. And why is it comparing with a centre mid and a striker? Also, Reese James is a better striker than Julian Alvarez. <laughs> He's got his shooting is 70. <laughs> oh no, that's sorry, that was Calvin Phillips. I'm very confused. Anyway, I don't know why it's Alright, cool. Moving on. Musa Diaby, let's get him. Right, we are looking at the exact same thing. This was in the last game as well. He's happy to be rotation somehow. Uh, we'll give you four years as well. No release clause and they tell us what they want. Fantastic, done, done deal. Because money is not an object for Manchester City. All right, we're gonna skip it this time. Not interested. Diaby, are they happy with the price? 62, so he costs two million more but he's on less wage. Price rating, A, wow. I'm a f expert negotiator. Cool. I got the best out of that deal. Wow. All right. It doesn't, it says not good enough. It rates him as not good enough. Anyway. All right. That was weird. Moving on. Let's, let's play a game. Let's just get to a game. We're going to advance. I don't know when our preseason thing is. Oop. Achievement. High grades. Uh, got an A for a transfer. 
I'm the best. Um, Chelsea want <laughs> Chao Cancelo probably to replace Rhys James. Bugger off. I'm going to block those. Where are these preseason games? What happened to them? What's Michael Lise up to? Michael Lise only being a 76 is bizarre. Anyway, where's this preseason? Someone wants a kanji. Just got here. Bugger off. I don't really want to sell anyone. Alright, what are we doing? Play highlights. That's new, right? Don't really know what that means. Maybe I'll use that in my career mode then, so that I'm not playing every game. That's interesting. We'll have a look at that. Right -o. Anyway, we're going to play this friendly against Juventus, and that'll do the video, really. Alright, I'm just going to get rid of that trainer. Bugger off. Hide. Go away. Don't need a trainer. This is not my first rodeo. Oh dear. I it's got this training thing up the top that I'm already sick of. Go away. Oh, uh, so far it looks like the same old game. Players moving fairly awkwardly. De Bruyne finds Foden. Cancelo overlapping. Where's the big man? Oh, that was meant to go back to the edge of the box towards thingy. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Haaland. Oh dear. Oh wow. Edison takes a kick to the chest from, I think that was Chiesa. I don't like this like the power bar being across the top. I, I'm sure I'll be able to change that somewhere. Terrible pass. There, that's good. And now the left side defense is exposed. Good. Di Maria fouled apparently. Oop. Oh dear. Oh wow. Juve are getting right, just, just slicing right through us. Oh, all right, I need to fix this somehow. What are we doing? Alrighty, I've changed some little things there. I don't know if it'll make a huge difference, but we'll see. So far, all Juve, that's all I'll say. Um, we're doing alright at passing the ball out of defense, but we can't create anything, which maybe that's a, going to be a theme. Although, Bernardo Silva through, defenders do nothing. Oh, off the post, no. I don't know why their center backs didn't come across then, but I, I'm not, gonna, not complaining about it. Holland! What's he done? I definitely told him to shoot. Come on, mate. Come on. Better period here. Oh, not a good cross. And Di Maria can run with it. And put Vlaovic through. Cancelo does well. Alrighty. So far, my review would be uh, it, it's the exact same video game. Um, <laughs> uh, but I absolutely love the addition of the that you can play as real managers. Fantastic. Oh, wow. Almost. Yeah, fantastic addition. Um, the gameplay looks the exact same. I don't need the training center. Bugger it off. I don't know why you, this game tried to tell me that I've never played it before um, when, like, literally last FIFA I was playing on Legendary. Like, it, it, you know, it is what it is. That's fine. I don't know why I don't have my player indicators down the bottom of the screen, like, telling me how much stamina they have, and that's where the power bars are. Anyway, here's Mario's edge of the box. Finesse. Oh, over the bar. What about effort? Lovely pink suit. Pep. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Already, I uh, very much dislike that there's a, a Mexican wave happening in the crowd. Get rid of that, because that is not football. Um, but it is. I get it. It is. I get it. But also, come on, mate. It's a beautiful preseason friendly between two of the best sides in the world, and we're doing a Mexican wave half an hour in. Come on, son. What's on here? Oh, Bernardo's in again. Bernardo scores. Bernardo Silva, how do the celebrations look? Yeah, it's, it, it, it's the same game. Erling Haaland's hair looks ridiculous. Um, that's good. It's the same game. Little ball in here from Foden. Finds Bernardo in acres of space inside the box, just outside the six yard. Outside of his left foot. Fires it beyond Chesney. Just out of reach of Benucci, who... Scissor kicks his goalkeeper, and it's 1-0 the City. Alrighty, it is half time in an effort to not make this video go for three hours. Uh, I just skipped through to half time basically. We've scored two more goals. It's three goals for our Manchester City side, one goal for Juve. Dusan Vlaovic got one, uh, which equalised, and then Erling Haaland grabbed himself a double. So it's been alright. It's been alright. And the game, I must say, does look fantastic. A lot of these players do look absolutely incredible, really. Right, 20 minutes to go here. I thought I'd jump back in, get you a bit more gameplay before we watch all the goals at the end. So, it's now 4-2. Um, Di Maria got one for Juve, making it 3-2. Pretty, 
before Erling Haaland got himself his hat trick, which, I mean, it's very on brand, isn't it? It's just exactly what you'd expect, basically. Can we swing one in here for Haaland? He gets his head to it, straight at the keeper. Haaland is an absolute cheat code. Um, and I mean, that goes for, that's just my commentary on him in general, like in real life and on FIFA. Foden into the box, swings on a cross, cut out by Benu. Wow, that was, is that not a back pass? Goodness me. Um, yeah, yeah. Haaland, cheat code. In-game, IRL, all of it. All right, we're going to make some subs, see if it's, it's not going to be different, but you know. I don't know why City's formations, like, for lack of a better term, on the piss. All right, bringing off the hat-trick hero, Haaland, as well as Foden and... Who else did he take off? Foden and Bernardo, maybe? I don't remember already. In two seconds. Um, if they have actually get on. Maybe two seconds is how much game time they'll see. That was a huge tackle. Laporte does well to block the through ball from Di Maria. If you watched FIFA 22, my... Uh, the Wolves career mode on Dylan on the ball. Um, defending hasn't changed. It, like I'm, it's, I'm still terrible at it. Goal scoring wise though, just fine. <laughs> Absolutely just fine. Absolutely just fine. Erling Haaland likes to do that celebration apparently. That's the second time he's done that. But he's gone ahead and grabbed himself a fourth goal just as he's about to exit the pitch. Cuts it back onto his preferred left foot. Getting past Bonucci, firing it past Chesney. Lovely stuff for 5-2. Beautiful. Five minutes to go. I did also notice in the first half, I, I, I think there's going to be one. I've only had one corner in the match, but I did notice that corners are different. That'll take some figuring out. The one I took was horrible. It went out for a like, goal kick well over the other side of the pitch. Oh, well. Anyway, header for De Bruyne. Straight at Chesney. Straight at Chesney. It's been a bit of a theme. But I mean, we've, we've scored five goals. I can't really complain, can I? Alvarez plays through Gundwan. Gundwan, oh, went to sort of cheekily just dink it over him. Didn't quite work out. Still got the ball. What can we line up? Rodri from range? No. All right, that'll, that'll wrap it up. 5-2 in. Lovely stuff. Good to see some new referees there. I mean, bloke with the long hair, the, the female, that's new. It's lovely. Love to see it. Quick recap of the goals. This is the first one. You saw this one. Foden plays it into Bernardo. One touch outside of the foot. Lovely stuff. 1-0 to City. Not sure what the marking was doing there, but we will absolutely take that and take a 1-0 lead. Lovely stuff. Vlaovic gets one back here for Juve. Just horrid marking and, I mean, leaving Dusan Vlaovic that open. Like, look what happens here. Defender runs well away from him. Not sure why, or how, but Vlaovic does what he does, makes it one all. We then just basically immediately went down the other end, Foden lobbed one in the box. Benucci sort of stood under the ball and tried to get to it, and Haaland on the run had all the momentum, got up, and absolutely thumps a header past Chesney, who has no, no hope, no chance. Haaland then grabs himself another here, makes a couple of runs, Found by Mares. He made one run, didn't work. Changes the angle of his run. And Mares finds him with his right foot this time. Finds the bottom corner. Di Maria gets one back here for Juve. It's Vlaovic out on the right, cutting it back in towards him. It's terrible goalkeeping. The the ball, like at the end of the day, the shot is basically straight at Edison. You won't be able to tell from this angle. It's basically straight at Edison just curving away a little bit. It goes over his right arm there. Shocking. It's then 4-2, the hat-trick for Erling Haaland. A perfect hat-trick. So he's got his one with his head to start off, one with his right. Another assist for Phil Foden, playing it into Haaland. One touch, bottom corner. Beautiful, 4-2. Haaland, as you saw, got himself another one, set up by Mares again, pops it onto his better left foot. Sending Bonucci just just ages away. Had no idea what was going on. Fires it in. 5-2. Four goals for Haaland. Why not? Beautiful. And advancing out of it, there was no post-match press conference. Is that right? That's weird, isn't it? 
I'm not sure if it gave me an option for a pre-match one either. Hmm. I'm not sure. That's weird. Anyway, that's uh, that's how it's looked so far. Really. Gameplay, I mean, look, it's, it's very much the same game as it has been for the last couple of years. It does look very, very good. Some of the player ratings are obviously just... Like, it just seems inflated to have players... Like, everyone is so good. It's just sort of defeats the purpose of having them be that good if everyone's that good. You know what I mean? Anyway, ratings are a thing. They're weird. It's tough to tough to iron out iron that one out. Anyway, that was a ton of fun though. I had an absolute ball playing that game. That was very very fun. I'll I'll continue to play. You guys won't see that though. You'll have to subscribe to check out our career mode, which will start later this week when maybe when the game launches proper. Not a hundred percent sure on who I'm picking yet. I I do have a very good idea, but or what I think is a very good idea. You'll have to subscribe to find out. Make sure to leave us a like as well. Comment down below what you think of FIFA 23. Anything you think we should do with FIFA 23. I'd love to hear from you. And until next time, when we go again, peace. Peace.